If you search TDEE calculator, you get a bunch of websites that all do pretty much the same thing. You put in your information and they spit out how many calories you burn in a day. You might even get recommendations for how much you need to eat based on your fitness goal. But you can get totally different answers depending on which formula you use. And if your calorie target is off, you won't lose weight or gain muscle. So I'm gonna walk you through how to calculate TDEE and help you get a more accurate estimation of your calorie needs. So the most common calculation is the mifflin saint Gior equation. And this one uses gender, weight, height, and age. What it actually calculates is your base metabolic rate or BMR. And then it applies an activity level multiplier to determine your TDEE. The activity level multipliers are what differ the most between your calculators. They're all mostly based on how many days per week you exercise. Uh, and they range from sedentary, low activity, moderate, high, and extreme. And each level has a different multiplier. And we'll take this and multiply it by your BMR. So if you were sedentary, your TDEE would be about 20% more than your BMR. And in the extreme case, it would be almost double. So in this example, we've got a 200 pound male. He's five foot nine and 30 years old. And based on this calculation, his BMR would be 1,858 calories. And then if we apply a moderate activity level, the multiplier is 1.55. So his TDEE comes out to 2,879 calories. Now, downside to this equation is that it doesn't account for body composition. So like BMI, it doesn't account for how much muscle or how much fat you have. Most TDEE calculators also allow you to use the catch McCardle equation. And this one uses your weight and body fat percentage to calculate BMR, and then applies the same activity level multiplier to find your TDEE. If you're of average build, which for men is 24% body fat, the TDEE comes out almost identical to the mifflin saint Gior equation. However, the two formulas diverge if you're above or below average body fat. So for example, if you let yourself get out of shape and you got up to 34% body fat, now your lean mass is lower, which lowers your base metabolic rate and also lowers your TDEE. In this case, it's almost 300 calories lower than the mifflin saint Gior equation. So if you were using this equation to find your TDEE and then estimate how many calories you need to lose weight, you'd be overestimating and probably wouldn't lose any weight at all. Now on the flip side, if you're below average body fat percentage, so say you're pretty lean and 14%, now your lean mass is higher, you have a higher BMR, and now your TDEE is more than 300 calories above the mifflin saint Gior equation. So if you were using this to try to build muscle, you probably wouldn't be eating enough and you wouldn't be seeing much progress in the gym. Therefore, if you know your body fat percentage, the catch McCardo equation is typically more accurate. However, both of these equations still have some pretty significant drawbacks. With normal calculators, the BMR formula uses some pretty sophisticated algebra, but then they revert to second grade level math and just slap a multiplier on it to find TDEE. More importantly, research shows that 27% of metabolic variation isn't accounted for even when lean mass is included in the calculation. That's why I created my own TDEE calculator to adjust for metabolic variation and actual activity habits. My TDEE calculator is based on the cash McCardell equation and then applies the body type multiplier to find your BMR. If you're not familiar with body types, it's basically a way to classify if you're naturally lean or naturally overweight. Ectomorphs are naturally skinny, endomorphs are naturally heavy, and mesomorphs tend to be more muscular. Now it's important to realize that body types aren't just three buckets to categorize people. It's more like a spectrum and you can be a mix of body types. In my case, I've always been naturally lean and skinny, but I'm also pretty athletic. So ectomeso is the right body type for me. Now, based on my weight and body fat percentage, my BMR comes out to 1,936 calories. I put my numbers into the catchment carnal equation and it comes out to 1861. So in my calculation, I get a slight boost based on my fast metabolism. Next, I separate activity level into your daily movement and workouts. So for daily movement, 
It's based on what type of job you have and how much walking you do. For example, I sit at this desk most of the day and I typically get less than 8,000 steps. Workout intensity refers to your average heart rate. For most resistance training and cardio workouts, it's going to be 120 to 150 beats per minute. Lower intensity cardio or yoga would be less than 120 beats per minute. And high intensity interval training could get over 150 beats per minute. I mostly do resistance training for about an hour a day. Based on these inputs, my energy expenditure on a workout day is about 2,826 calories. The cool thing is I can also figure out my TDEE for a rest day. And based on how many number of days I work out each week, I can find my average TDEE. You can see that my workout day TDEE is actually lower than both of these formulas. And the reason is that I have a desk job. So even though I work out pretty hard, I'm not burning as many calories as these other calculators assume. The other reason these numbers are higher is because they only take into account one activity level and they give me an average TDEE. With my calculator, I get a TDEE for rest days and one for workout days. So I can more accurately figure out how many calories I have to eat. I'll put a link in the description so you can download this Excel calculator and see which equation works best for you. If you feel like you're not reaching your fitness goals, then you probably need to reevaluate your calorie intake. And the first step is finding your actual TDEE. By adjusting the right variables, you get a more accurate calorie target to gain lean mass without getting fat or get shredded without losing muscle.